with the secret ingredient which I was hiding before but then you know you guys are my people and I'm your poultry success partner so I have to show you okay so what's the number one thing that you give to your chicks when they arrive on your farm yes a lot of people would say yes you give anti-stress you give multivitamins you give uh, glucose you give vitamin c and all manner of things which are good they are very good but then there's one secret ingredient and that's why i've decided to hide it behind me yes there's one secret ingredient that i give to my chicks and i'm going to be giving to these chicks because they are arriving today 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 so welcome back to diy agri your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner yes if you are yet to subscribe to the channel you don't want to miss out if you know you have interest in poultry or you're already a poultry farmer you want to gain more knowledge you are an experienced poultry farmer but then you want to expand your knowledge this is one place you want to belong yes this is one community you want to belong so go right there and click the subscribe button click the like button if you're liking what i'm doing already and also click the notification bell so you don't miss out on the next upload so back to the question and don't forget i promised i was going to start a broiler brooding management series and the series is beginning today it's beginning today and oh my god i'm so happy this has been a long awaited something that we have all been waiting for you know all my subscribers i know you have been waiting for this and uh, i got here in this corner i got the brooding section and um, this is the brooder guide i think i've shown this before in a previous video i'm going to be pointing into this place i'm going to be taking the camera to point here and show you everything that is there including the thermo hygrometer the smart thermometer that i can monitor from my phone here i can monitor the reading right here it's saying 32 point something i can't really see the point because it's smaller you understand very soon but it's saying 32 point something there and i'm going to show you on my phone right now okay where's the app go v and uh, let me show you yeah it's giving us 32.4 as you can see and this is the humidity right here 65.8 so this is a very good thermometer is a smart thermo hygrometer that you want to use for your brood for your poultry brooding so you are able to monitor the temperature of the brooding house i got a couple of these and i actually sell it if you want one you can send me a message or you can place a call i'll leave my number down uh in the description below so this is one part i want you to know we are all set we are all set like you can see we have 32.4 it's now 32.3 on my phone so if the chicks come in and this is because it's already evening this is 503 and the weather is dropping so if the chicks come now they should still be fine but then after a couple of hours in the next one hour or so i'll be starting the gas brooder to ensure that this place i want to test it today it's not as if i've not tested it before but i want to test it with this setup you know i just drop the curtains and everything you have to always test it part time so you want to ensure that everything is right if i need to take it up a little bit i'll do that so i'm going to be testing that before the chicks come before the chicks come so We'll do that and the feed will be placed before the chicks come also and then the water but then not ordinary water but with the secret ingredient which i was hiding before but then you know you guys are my people and i'm your poultry success partner so i have to show you everything everything and this is it this is the secret ingredient in case you don't know what it looks like from afar i doubt that anyway but then let me take it so close to the camera this is what this is coconut this is coconut and this is what i'm going to be using as the secret ingredient this is a perfect electrolyte for your cheeks the old cheeks are they are strong but then oftentimes they go through a lot of stress to journey from the archery down to the farmer's farm 
and then because of this stress you might have so much mortality in the first few days so to tackle this stress and to make them settle into the new environment that they have never been exposed to you want to give them a kind of anti-stress to calm down the stress and ensure that they settle in so quickly and without mortalities without so much mortalities but then you know people buy and buy and buy and they are all manner of anti-stress with their level of effectiveness but this has been found so perfect this has been found perfect for the work you know and it's free it's usually free if you have a friend that has coconut in the house you know this is free i just got this from the coconut tree so this is free and it's a perfect electrolyte and again you must be aware that these chicks cannot thermoregulate that is their body is still not equipped with the mechanism to 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 exchange heat to manage the heat within themselves so they can't really gather heat by themselves except by huddling together but as an individual as an individual chick a chick is incapable of maintaining its own body temperature until about 10 to 14 days so because of that you need electrolytes electrolyte balance in the body can help to regulate the temperature and all that apart from anti-stress when they arrive the electrolytes supply from this is also wonderful it's also wonderful so i don't joke with this is the first thing i give my chicks it's the number one thing nothing added just this and water i dilute it with water with just a little water the better i'm expecting they are 100 100 chicks i think i'm going to be adding some talkies and i might be adding some noilers because i actually want to hit some noilers uh i've been out of noiler for a while i want to eat some noilers and i want the hex coming in so i don't have to buy hex Hex are so expensive now the last crate of hex i bought was 1500 and that was like a ripoff a farmer buying hex you know i don't want that to repeat itself so i know definitely i'm going to still buy some but then the ends are going to start laying anytime in another few months you know i've had some in the past in the house here so we used to get the eggs from them and you know each day i get eggs we don't even eat everything we give it out to friends and family but i want that to come again so i'm going to get those chicks again those noila chicks so they can be dual purpose i hit when i want to hit and i get eggs every day so this place is hot you know it would be an abnormal situation if i'm inside here and i'm not sweating you can see the sweat yeah yeah so if you're inside a brooding house and you're not sweating then it's not a brooding house it's not a brooding house so what is here what is here we are all set actually we are all set everything is set okay i think it's time i take you in to see what we have inside here pardon me i'm just going in and out of this partition okay so let me take you on a walk so as you can see this is what we have inside the partition inside the brooder guide this is inside the brooder guide this is what we have okay yeah we can see it so clearly now yes you can see everything so clearly now and um, as it's saying 32.3 there i'm going to confirm on the phone <laughs> that's what we have the 2.3 yeah it just changed back to 0.2 and you can see on the thermometer to 0.2 back to 0.3 yes this one too is it still okay 0.2 0.2 so it seems the temperature is explain us you know so that's what we have that's what we have that's what we have okay and another beautiful thing about this device is that right here on the hub you can monitor the temperature for days weeks months you can it's all stored up so once you go to the hub you know what the temperature variation is like throughout the day for example maybe you have a worker on the farm and you're even far away you just place this there you want to know whether they actually did well in maintaining 
good uh, temperature balance so you have the app installed on your phone you go out you can even travel out of the country and come back and you will be able to check when you once you come back and the phone connects to the thermo hygrometer you're able to check what the temperature has been since the beginning or since the last time you were there up until when you came back so everything will be shown to you you'll see everything all the data let me see if i can show something like that right now okay i think i started this thing today yeah this thing was set up today and um you can see the chart you can monitor for hour day month or week and month okay you can see the graph i set the maximum i set the minimum so for the temperature there was a time during the hot afternoon okay before 4 p.m you can see 16 o'clock here yeah 16 o'clock so around that time you can see red you can see red here that is the temperature went above the maximum that i set the maximum i set was 33.7 you can see that here maximum and the minimum i said was 28.5 just to test this thing and it's really good it's pretty good so this is something you don't want to miss this is something you don't want to miss so if you want to get you can just send me a message and i'll respond i'll respond to that i'll respond to that you can hear the sound that just sounded it is because it has passed it passed the maximum when i was holding it close to my hand it passed the maximum 33 point um or was it a, okay i guess it's the humidity because the maximum for temperature is 33.7 it's still 33.2 here so I, th I think it's the humidity that just went above the maximum it's now 86 so it really has to make that sound because the maximum here is 83.5 and it's 86 so this thing is good for both temperature and um for humidity so we are getting ready and we are set i must tell you i'm going to break this now and um expose the coconut so that once they come i just break it and get the water out of it and then we use that's just about what they are going to take after 30 minutes or so i'll give them feed and couple with the eat yeah, we're fine i can go to sleep i can go to sleep don't forget i'm aware that this is for 500 to 1000 capacity this brooder but let's see let's see how we can manage it i'm going to dim the light as much as possible because i just don't think i would want to use this i just don't think i want to use it i said just for the experiment just to show you people because i can't imagine having to come outside to check the heat all the time no in the night so i don't want to do that so we are ready we are set we are set and don't worry i'm going to be bringing this is just the tip of the iceberg i'm going to be bringing more and more more and more as we proceed so this is going to be the last video before you see the chicks so stay tuned if you're here to subscribe hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you get notified once i post the first video with the chicks